Whoa, almost tripped, <laughs> went right into the river. What is going on guys? Welcome to a little rainy wintertime trout fishing. I am standing on the banks of a river here. Just discovered this spot like 30 minutes ago. Check it out. Oh, by the way, I have a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. I mean, a lot of cool stuff. I'm using a new lure, an Ace Videos lure. Might be coming out with a brand new color. Using my new Ace Videos backpack today, the uh, military style color. These comes in four, four different colors. But over here, if we walk to this side, this is what makes this spot so cool. I was so happy I found this. Got another river right here, much smaller ones that winds its way through the mountains. I've actually fished it, but I fished it like 30 miles uh, upstream. And it runs into the main river, the famous Trout River right there. So I'm in an area where I have a chance of catching really big trout. The rain has kind of stopped temporarily, which is nice. Guys, if you want to support my channel and get a fantastic backpack, make sure you check these out in the description. One of the features I love is how there's this like little pocket right up top. And uh, that way you can reach for your most important things. And they're right on the top there. I have here a whole bag of brand new baits. These are experimental. We're trying to make an ace bait. Now, if you guys follow my channel, I've had a lot of success with yellow and black. And uh, I think it looks like bees. There are a lot of bees in the mountains around here, especially in the summer, and they lay them on the surface and the trout eat them. So we have a couple of prototypes. See, the super nice thing about this zinger is that your um, clippers, you can put pliers on here too, is that it retracts and then you always have them in the same spot on your pack. Makes it very convenient for retying. They're not gonna go anywhere. They're gonna be in the exact same spot. It looks kind of funny looking, but I'm gonna try the other two as well. We'll just put a little bit of this Trophy Bass Gel scent on it. First cast of the day. First cast of the old tube. What? 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 No, that couldn't have been. Could not have been. Bite on the first cast. Did you guys see my the rod tip there? Oh, are you kidding me? I think I may have gotten a bite on the first cast. Yeah, that totally just bounced. One of the things that does cross my mind is using a bumblebee color in the middle of winter may not be effective <laughs> for obvious reasons. I'm over that just the force of the habit of the trout will... Got one. Are you kidding me? The force of the habit of the trout will just bite something yellow and black anyway. A rainbow trout on the black and yellow. Oh, that is sweet. Look at that. First fish on the new experimental color. I was just swimming it along. Excellent. Well, that will hush my mouth about the, look at that, that little, um, kind of the triple color. They, they took the tube and, oh, oh, well, I was hoping to keep that one. Oh, he's trapped. Ah, there's no way I was grabbing him. I shouldn't have taken him off the hook over the water. I was thinking about keeping that one. One thing I didn't notice, it was really fat, so maybe it might have been a female, so maybe that's that's all right. Sweet. Wow. How cool. You know, guys, I use the black and yellow Panther Martin all the time, and so I thought, hey, why not Why not make a little black and yellow micro trout tube? Aren't even sh quite sure about what we should uh, call them yet, although I think we have it picked out. My mother suggested uh, the Ace Stinger. Instead of something boring like the Ace B, she said to call it the Ace Stinger. So I think we're going to go with that. I'm going to put on one of the other colors and see if it's more effective. Yeah, this is the first batch ever. Just th threw it in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to try one without that uh, the head on it. We're just going to do yellow, black, and has gold flake in there. Yeah, I'm kind of weighed out in the middle here because I want to cast right by that tree that snag of trees there there's a bite got him <laughs> oh we got off on that other color another rainbow looked like shoot through the hook and got me all tangled 
Looks like somebody hit this rock or rock with their boat. There's like white on it. Scrape some paint. Some guys on a drift boat right there. Looks like they have bobbers. All right, so I came around over here. Oh, look, a pumpkin. Yeah, it's just the old, the old bridge. Is this a, hey, it's a whole perfectly good pumpkin. Huh, I might use that for my trail camera series, guys. No joke. Leaving what happens to pumpkins left out in the forest. If you guys want to check out that channel, I'll link it in the description. Most of you guys are still, still watch it, or already watch it. That's been one I've been wanting to do. I think I'll use that as the impetus for it. I can't cast this thing quite to that stanchion. I think I might have to get a big jerk bait on. All right, two trout on the tube, which I'm really happy with right off. I need to switch to something with some heft to it so I can get it over to, what do we got here? Yes, 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 yes. Although, gosh, I've had some good luck with that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. So I've had some pretty good luck with this color around in the Appalachian Mountains. So never tried it in this particular river, but let's give it a go. It's crazy because this river is so much deeper than the one over there. So I can't really wade out in it. And it's extra high right now because of all the rain. I just, I almost got it to the stanza on that cast. Got one, got one. Oh, this might be a big fish. This might be a big fish. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. He's kind of hooked fine. He's not as big as I was hoping, but he, he, cause he's hooked in a, sh oh, I'm kind of hooked in the tree, dang it. Oh shoot, that's the problem. I'm hooked in the tree. Oh, brown trout. Oh, get him up on shore. Yes, a brown trout, sweet. Yes, just what I was hoping for. And that is a great eating size. No giant trophy, but right in that like 14 inch range. That Rapala jerkbait, boy, ever since I moved to the south, that has been uh, one of my go-tos for trout. Here we go, my friends. Beautiful eating size. Wow, that is fun. What a great day. <laughs> this is so perfect. Ah, I love this found a brand new fishing spot, catching trout right away, using some experimental lures and using some, some good old standbys. Ah, this is gonna be delicious. Four compartments on the Ace Videos backpack. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, since it's not as cold of a day, I'm gonna actually keep them alive. There we go, yes. Sweet, switch to the jerk bait. That's what I'm talking about. And I got a pumpkin. And I'm using a brand new Trika fishing rod. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's so nice having waders, even if you aren't in the water. Just all this like wet brush and stuff. Just not to have to worry about getting poked and stuff by things. Ah, oh, snag. Come on, no. Little jerkbait, please. There. <gasps> a trout just came up right there, guys. I got the snag out, and I saw a trout came up and attacked, like, like the jerkbait popped to the surface, and a, a big old trout just swirled on it. Let me, okay. There's a big trout hanging out, like, right down there. He was probably looking at it while it was snagged, and then when it popped off the rock, oh, look at it, right there, right there. You guys see him? It's a brown trout. Oh man, he was, he, he swirled at it. He's kind of, kind of finicky about it. Doesn't, doesn't know if he wants it for sure. You know, oh man, won't take it again. You know what I'm gonna do guys? So this is, this is a good rule, this is a good lesson here. When you, when you have a fish that's chasing a fast moving lure and they don't quite want to bite it, if you switch to something like a soft plastic, a lot of times you can get them. I'm gonna go back to the tube. 
Let's see if the tube will get him. Got him. On the tube. What do we got? Oh, another brown trout. Yes. Yes. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Dang it. Dang, that was, that was a, you know, that was a good one for me. It's actually not a very good one for this river. This river is like filled with trophies. Not maybe filled with trophies, but. Yeah, I'm gonna try this brown trout colored one. I haven't tried that one yet today. Brown trout, love to eat brown trout. It's gonna scare out the little ones and hopefully just get a big one. Got one. Nope, it was my imagination running away with me. Did you notice the bend of this rod though, guys? Check out Trico rods. I've been using them in all my new videos. They are the ultra, super lightweight rods. I mean, well, actually one of the lightest weight rods I think I've ever held in my hand. But while having a feather light fishing rod is super cool, it doesn't mean a thing if the fishing rod isn't durable. And these rods are indeed durable. But what's even more impressive than this is I actually got this thing caught in a ceiling van while I was at a condo in South Carolina and it did not break. Caught in a ceiling fan, no breakage, not even a guide missing. So I like the idea of buying a fishing rod and uh, 10 or 15 years from now, I'm still using it. Check them out in the description below. Stuck in a ceiling fan, cranked it around, still didn't break. So that got me to be a believer in how tough they were. Oh, did you see that trout? Dang it, I, I didn't, I thought it was a rock. Okay, I did not play that well. I thought it was a rock. That was a nice brown trout. Man, that's two in a row, two nice ones I've lost. I assumed it was a rock instead of a fish and you never do that. Kinda right back where I started. It's a little bit hard to cast because of the trees, but uh, I can tell the water's gotten higher since I've been, been out here. Got him, got him. Big fish, big fish. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe not a, like a mongo fish, but it's a nice brown trout. Yes, yes, finally, after losing several. Sweet, oh man, what a beautiful fish. Wow, on the brown trout. I mean, look at the, the color match there. That is fantastic. Another little like pounder. I think I'm gonna keep this one too. I, brown trout are just delicious. Ha, that's fun. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I'm gonna keep two today, I think. I think the limit's like seven. Take this stick and just knock him out real quick. Oh, yes, look at those colors. To find a brand new spot, be catching fish at it, first time trying it this is fun I've got quite a few bites they like what six or seven bites well my friends it's not every day you stumble upon a trout spot like this what a cool day out here too especially especially a brown trout area a little brown trout hole I can come back to now I'm gonna go and um, let's try to find a little spot to do some cooking almost forgot my pumpkin <sighs> sweet yeah, this will definitely be in a trail camera video. You don't have to, I'll have to do pumpkin versus pumpkin pie in the forest. All right, my friends. So I drove upriver a little bit. This is some more uh, public land here. And uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna cook first before I try fishing anymore. Otherwise, I might run out of daylight. Got my little pumpkin here. That's gonna be a fun video. Alrighty, my friends, before we get to cooking, I have here a package from a subscriber that we are going to use the contents therein for the cook. And I wanted to show y'all what Kean Johnson sent me. He made this himself. Um, he cut the wood. He's 11 years old. He cut the wood and he made it so it could stand up like this. Gone fishing. So thank you to Kean. I love it. And then Patrick 
McKinney paid ten dollars and seventy cents to send this box of goodies to me. Patrick is ten years old and he's from Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania. And he says, come to Pennsylvania, we have great fishing here. Thank you so much, Patrick. Look at all this stuff. I'm going to use this for the cook. I think some chip crusted trout would be crab chips. I think this is great. Ah, I thought, I've had crab chips once before. They're very strong. I think if I crush those up and crush the trout with them, it should be great. And it would pair very nicely with some Frank's Red Hot Chili and Lime Seasoning Blend. And then he also sent me, I may or may not have already sampled these, some hot buffalo wing pretzels, which I love hot buffalo wing pretzels. And he also sent this fishing lure here and these crappie baits. I've actually used, I don't know if he's this exact color, but very similar color. These are very effective. Thank you so much, Patrick. Let me set that right there. Let me put the chips and stuff right there. And then I'm going to break out the new cook backpack. Backpack's also available in blue, by the way. That was nice and safe. Huh. Hardly know what to do. I forgot about the crab chips. Can't forget those. Thank you to all the subscribers who sent me stuff. <coughs> Spices again. Just a little chip crust. <laughs> Kind of fun. And one ultra jumbo pickle. Uh -huh. I think we are just about there. <coughs> oh, that chili lime. Get the oh, nice crust on it. not have eaten all the other chips. Oh. Say a prayer real quick. A lot of reasons to say a prayer. A lot of Bible verses too that talk about praying before you eat. Thank you again to everybody who sent me cool stuff. Um, like crab chips. Wow. That chili lime seasoning is really good. We got the bright lime flavor, and you have the spicy, man, the spicy chili. Those, those are such a good combo. Now this pickle here, I have to say, I'm a little intimidated by this pickle. 
I saw it in the grocery store this morning, and I was like, a dollar twenty-nine. We're gonna get a pickle like this for only a dollar twenty-nine. I've actually never eaten a pickle this big before, and uh, yeah, this is this is a little intimidating here. Has thick, thicker skin than your regular pickle. They're um, juicier than a usual pickle because they can absorb so much juice. But the thi skin is thicker. Mm. Almost forgot. There's one more letter I want to share with you guys. It's from Nehemiah. That is a great name. Nehemiah from Ohio. I like your videos. I have been watching you for like seven months. From Nehemiah age eight. And he drew this picture. I see that there. It's a trout with crawfish on it and my first cast seasoning there. He says, I am still watching. I got your kit and have been fishing. I want to get your spice. Thank you so much, Nehemiah. Whew. Scarf that down. I think I was hungrier than I thought. I'll tell you what, chip crusted fish is really good. And that was like a slap dash job. I mean, if I actually really like packed them on there right and, and made sure I got it, something to say it stick to it and then fried it, like I'm gonna do, you're gonna see that again because that is amazing. The only thing I haven't finished is this monstrous pickle. It's like one pickle ate 20 other little ones. I, uh, I'll finish that later. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to everybody who sent me all this cool stuff. I love it. Love all the stuff you guys make as well. A lot of effort put into this. And uh, keep getting out there. Keep trying new things. Leveling up in real life and searching out new places. Because I know I found the one place earlier and this spot. I didn't even get to fishing this because I was so caught up in the cooking. And just ran out of daylight. I hate how, uh, how quickly it gets dark in the winter. But I'll just have to come back and try it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.